from the beginning, man has possessed the attributes of the animal. And from his human inventiveness came weapons that could puncture and slash his enemy's flesh. Gradually, man created a knife culture, which has changed very little as it has cut its way through time. Many officers dismiss the edged weapon as a mere relic from man's primitive roots. But this relic still has the intent and means to destroy the enemy. The first step is to become aware that edged weapon attacks often occur in unlikely situations, often when you're distracted or not expecting them at all. Unlike the Hollywood depiction of the single telegraphed strike, most edged weapon attacks against police are much less predictable. A baseball cap with razor blades sewn to the back, which can be swung by the bill to cut your face. What's hard to imagine, unless you've already been a knife victim, is the speed with which attacks can occur. Watch how fast someone who's really skilled can get into action with a knife. Hey, you're blocking the alley. What's the problem? Certain movements leave little doubt about intent. This represents imminent danger for sure. What's the problem? There is no problem here. Well, you can go. Nobody called. Let me see your hands. Hey, just, just go. There's nothing wrong here. Let me see your hands and step from the porch. With this, an offender can control at least 150 feet. If sweep and disengage is not possible, you want to employ the principle of gun. Firearm. Remember this acronym, SMENS. <laughs> 